Hi, my name is Rachel Gillen, and this is just a tiny warp speed, like acting baby lesson really fast. So the number one thing for an actor to know in a scene other than their lines is their objective, their motivation. Um, what is it that you want? A character has what we call a super objective, which is something that they want over the entire course of the play. Uh, like in The Little Mermaid, Sebastian's super objective is to keep Ariel safe, right? So in many of his scenes, that's his only objective. All he's trying to do is keep her safe. Now in some other scenes, he might have a smaller, or different objective. Like in the kitchen scene, his objective is just to stay alive, right? To not get served for dinner. That's So the objective can change from scene to scene, but sometimes the super objective is the only one that he has. Um, in some scenes, uh, or for some characters, an objective is achieved, and for other characters it's not. Like Juliet doesn't get to live happily ever after with Romeo. Uh, sometimes an objective changes over the course of the show, like in Mary Poppins. Uh, Mr. Banks, at the beginning of the show, his super objective is all he wants is a well-behaved family to live a normal, quiet life for his children to behave well. Uh, by the end of the play, it's very different. He wants to get to know his uh, children on a personal level and have a real relationship with them. Um, but it's important for an actor to know what their objective is in any individual scene as well as what their overall super objective is. Um, now, there are always things standing in the way of a character's objective. Like for Sebastian, it's Ursula, her eels, sometimes Ariel herself are getting in the way. An actor needs to know how they're going to try and achieve their objective despite what's standing in their way. Um, the things a character does to try and achieve their objective are called tactics. So in the kitchen scene, Sebastian's tactics are usually like hide or run. They're pretty simple. They're pretty easy to understand for him in that scene. Uh, for other actors, other characters, it's a little harder to find it. Um, sometimes it might just be, be really quiet and be small and maybe this person won't notice me and they'll just go away. Um, but there are, are always tactics of some kind that an actor is using to try and um, for their, get their character to achieve their objective. So knowing your objective and knowing your tactics for what you're going to try and do are important. Uh, now in a scene, it's also important to know those things, objective and tactics, but it's also important to know how you feel. Um, how do you feel about every other person in the scene? How do you feel about where you are? Where are you? How did you get there? Have you been walking for a long time? Are you cold? Are you tired? Are you hungry? Um, how do you feel about what's going on around you? An actor needs to know all of these things about each of their scenes. Um, but the tricky thing is that if an actor tries to just show their emotions, it will feel false to an audience. It won't feel real. Um, so the thing that an actor needs to do to make it feel real to an audience is action. You need to find an action that will help and show how you're feeling. Um, if you're uncomfortable, what action do you take? What does an actor do to show that they're uncomfortable? Um, maybe you try move away. Maybe you close yourself off from what's happening. If they find another actor, if another character fascinating, they will just stare at them with a big open face, maybe move themselves a little bit closer, have open body language when they're working with that person. Um, if they're cold, you know, you bundle yourself up. So there's always an action that goes along with how you're feeling. And the action is what helps um, get it across. So this is warp speed very fast. Uh, but what it really comes down to is know your objective in every scene. Know what's standing in the way of you achieving your objective. Know what tactics you will use to try and achieve your objective. Um, know your surroundings and the other characters and how your character's feeling about that. And then use action to try and show how you're feeling. So hopefully this was a little bit helpful in only four minutes. All right, thank you, break a leg.